kicking butt. Yeah. And then there was like a c controller malfunction in the middle of one of his. Yeah, no, that was oh, weird. God. His opponent's controller disconnected mid game. Yeah, that's that's probably one of the only reasons I think that like um, you know, pro controllers are kind of weird. Yes, I'm exhausted. I'm not doing great. I. It's been a pleasure. I need to actually step off because I've yeah, been man. on all day. I'm gonna let uh, Toasty take over. Oh, gonna very capable oh, hands. So you guys are about to hear commentary from two Lucas mains. Yeah, that's gonna happen right now. How's it going, man? Chilling, chilling. How about you? Dude, I was just telling uh, the viewers that this match is gonna be commentated by pure Lucas Mains. Oh. He's still a Lucas Main, right? No, not even close. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> Why would you make me a liar? Just say yes. You shouldn't have just. Yeah, I know. It's my bad. No, well, I guess it's my bad, too, because I mean, I haven't really like, talked to you in a while, but. That's yeah, all right. I thought you cool. played Nass. I play. I play in this order, like Lucas, Samus, and then Ness, maybe. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Who do you play now? Palu. Palu. I sold out. Yeah, you did. You went to the dark side. You were like, Anakin. hey, Palu was my first main in Smash 4, but she was bad. Now she's good. I've earned it. Yeah. They improved, like, basically, I feel like this game is cool because they really did just improve all the things that kind of just sucked. Or most of them. Mm -hmm. And now we just have, you know. Yeah, they made a lot of the bad characters in Smash 4 good. Yeah. Or even the bad characters from Brawl good, like Pokemon Trainer. You know, here on the screen. We're going to use Zenyu versus Sheena. I have not seen these two play in a while. Yeah, Sheena is, like, always a wild card. You never know who's going to pick. But you kind of do. Yeah. She, yeah, Sheena is definitely that extra wild card. You never know if he's going to play, like, amazing or just, like, all right. That, but, oh, my God, yeah. And he always gets the weirdest kills. Like, he's like, what? You can kill like that? He always gets, like, the weirdest. He, he finds the most creative way to just rob you with a stock. Yes. That's how I play. So, respect to that guy. Because he also plays Lucas. But, you know, I'm not going to be all biased, commentator biased. It's not going to happen. Exactly. Getting into it. You know, decent percent between both players. Zenyu, you, you know, a little bit more damage. He did get that those mid percent combo streaks. So he has Squirtle at 80. This is kind of the time you you would think to see Squirtle switch out. But I think Shine may try to stake it out to get him to that mid percent where you can see a... Never mind, I've been wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, this might be that moment that you were just describing. Yeah, actually, I was just going to say that. It's like, man, why am I describing this so perfectly? Yeah. Almost in real time. Oh, I think he tried to hit yeah. Zenyu with the uh, the whip underneath that'll, the stage. That'll go through all that stage. I, yeah, I think he messed up the angle, but that was generally the idea. Now switching over to the chart. Wow, the chart got actually got a yeah, got he, he back. Yeah, I feel like uh, Sheena was trying to mix up like the weight, but then it was just like ah, if you waited any longer, the invincibility would have disappeared. Mm -hmm. So you know, Dan, if you beat them, you know. Yeah, he definitely tried all three tr uh, Pokemon to like try to take that stock, but each one just kind of presented its own struggles. I'm sure you, you didn't like any like the hits or the grabs. Charizard got to stay out for exactly two seconds before he left, and he's back here getting comboed yeah. again. And I think it's like a testament to like uh, oh, Zenyu. Oh my god, that was like a, holy crap. He, he, Zenyu let him change Pokemon, and he's like, all right, I'm gonna keep comboing. He actually let him across the town. Yeah. Zenyu out three to one. That yeah. was. That was a good stock, Zenyu. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like a testament to like Zenyu basically. All right, Pokemon Trainer is three characters in one, right? Zenyu knows how to play three characters at once, kind of. Like, you know, just he knows that matchup. Anyone who fails at this matchup can get mixed up just because it's three different matchups to, to learn. Have to, but Zenyu doesn't seem to be having that problem yep. after this. So he's finally getting that first stock. Genie now going back to the score. Like, I think it was a really smart way of switching over. I thought he was going to try to stick it out with the Ivy, but then you at such a low percent. You want that Squirtle. You need to take the risk of trying to get that grab so you can get your 50% off because right now this is not looking good for Shine. Yeah. And like, it's always weird for little characters to be fighting against each other. It's like almost like two Squirtles slash two Marios fighting against each other. It's like they want to do the same thing. I see what you mean, yeah. Especially with like the the small character archetype in this game being the quick, fast, does a lot of damage, can throw a lot of hits out. Yeah, and I know that both of these characters have annoyed me a lot because they could these are not fun characters to play against, I'll tell you that. Yeah. So maybe I should start playing them because then that might be fun. That's true. And it'll also be a good way to like understand how the character works so you can get better at the matchup yourself. Yeah. Wow, Shini waiting for that neutral good, but not really reacting. Man. Oh, that really runoff fair was beautiful from Shine. 86%, not bad. I think he's going to switch, stick it out with the Charizard right now. Try to get some damage in. So let's see how that works out. But Zenyu does not care what Pokemon Shine is on. Yeah. And also, he might just like want to not die so early. I feel like those other characters just might be a little bit too uh, you know, fragile right now. Shine waiting for Zenyu, but... 
I like the idea with the F smash. Oh, that was so scary. Yeah. I think we're just barely safe enough on shield that uh, that back air. Going off with the back air, Shine. Slowly trying to whittle his way back in, but this is kind of a problem with Charizard. Like he can get those hits in, but his neutral isn't the greatest. But once he gets that down there, oh, wow. right, yeah. sixty-seven percent. I was gonna say that like uh, one forty-four should be like the new, like the new uh, sixty-nine percent, because it's like twelve times twelve is forty-four. We oh. all know that. Oh, man. Shine going extra deep for that back air. It was kind of like. Reminiscent of like, I don't know, back at Evo when Tweak tried to hit Leo with that. Yeah, that was like that same kind of energy where it's like, if it hits, I win. If not, I lose. Yeah. And that was, that was kind of weird. That was because like the last match, the very last match, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was one. Of, yeah, it was one of the last matches. He did it a couple. I think it once or twice in like the first and second set. Yeah. She knew, that was kind of a little uncharacteristic because we saw him stick to stage control so much. Finally going off on that last one, and I think he went off because he's like, I haven't done this before. So I think it'll be a good idea. And it wasn't terrible, but against Mario, it's like, it's really hard to pinpoint him down once you have like, like that really good read, so. Yeah. And, it's, and it's also cool, because like sometimes, you know, you go for those crazy kills that you, you know, you don't know that you're gonna die. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh shoot, I guess I had one less jump than I thought. Um, but, you know, that's just all da uh, like data for the log. Oh my God, going for that fair immediately, but Shini kind of already knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. And I always say, but um, non-directional air dodge, he jumped and then air dodge without the Yeah, air. I think that's so good because, you know, when you land with that air dodge, you have no lag. Yeah, and on top of that, like, you have, like, double as many invincible frames when you non-directional air dodge. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, and you have no. uh, double the lag with a directional air dodge. Yeah. And less frames. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when you... Yeah, when you do that neutral air dodge, you just don't have any lag when you hit the ground. It's a it's a good way to land these days. And you move really beautifully, which is pretty in itself. You like do this cool little twirl. At least as my character, I don't want to say who. <laughs> right now, Shine kind of forced onto Charizard early on in this game. Not that much percent on Zenyu, but Zenyu seems really he's really composed right now. He just knows what to do in every option. Yeah. But one thing I saw that uh, Shine was doing to some degree of success was, you know, just kind of like uh, flying away and just kind of landing with back air to mm -hmm. kind of keep uh, to keep Zenyu at bay. Yeah. And every time that Shine, uh, Shine like approaches like face like face to face, he always just gets a bunch of uh, damage, gets comboed. Yeah. Shine's doing a really good job of like kind of bobbing and weaving in between Zenyu. Yeah, yeah great, great great call out on the roll. Oh, uh, tries the two frame with the F tilt a little too close. Did that kill? Damn, that was yeah, fireball in there. In it's like before you even know you're on fire, you're like in the blast zone. Oh, misses the tech. That's gonna be it. Ooh. Yeah, when's the last time you saw that combo? All right. Still, a really good thing from Squirtle and that F tilt. Like honestly, just probably like one of the best boxing, like grounded boxing options in the game. It's so good. Yo, Pokemon trainer just leveled up right now. Shine finally starting to find his stride here, actually. Yeah, because it was very, uh, Zenny was just dominating everything mm -hmm. before that point. So yeah. I, I guess, like, a Sh Shine Oh, another missed tech. Ooh. And yo, 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 Shine, Shine. That happened too. so quick. Right, that was actually blink and you miss it, kind of, uh. Yeah. But now Zenny's coming I up. I didn't blink and I missed it. Honestly. All right, Zenny looking for that air dodge, but Shine doing a direction one. A really good yeah. time to do it, and a hey, jab lock of his own. Hey, bag. I got you. I got you. Yo, let's go. This is the ultimate special, man. That was uh, that was funny. He actually just did it back to him. Yeah, I'll just it, the the parallel is so funny because the jab lock too, mm -hmm. and they're both kind of characters known for their jab locks. Yeah, I feel like Mario's like has been on the back burner as far as like what you think for jab lock combos, like not for any real reason in particular, but you just don't think of him as much. But he's he's still there, as you saw. Yeah, I mean, it just it's that character who. You just know everything about him, and it's like, ah, uh, you forget about him a little bit. Yeah, like, exactly. He's, he's in every top, like, player. Whatever. Oh, tries to grab that forward air, gets spaced out with the F smash. Then you're going to take the 2-0. was looking really 